Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the Investor Show. As always, this is your gracious host, the Prince of Investing, Prince Dice, coming to you guys and girls live all the way from the beautiful city and state of Denver, Colorado. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. And as always, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys and girls don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. Well, as you guys and girls know, we have a very interesting topic today for all my Acorn fans out there and for all the people uh, who are interested in investing for their children, looking for new ways to invest for their children. So many people have asked me about the Acorn app. So many people have asked about investing for their children. So today we're going to talk about investing for your children, getting your children started early and uh, all those other great things. So I have a very, very interesting guest. So I'm going to give a brief um introduction of her background um we have miss kennedy reynolds here today she's the chief brand officer of acorn and she's heading the initiative of acorns early that's right acorns early it's like an initiative for children and she's also an author as well so you know she's a harvard graduate uh, she's worked with plenty of brands i'll let her kind of talk to you guys about her herself but you know very subject matter expert when it comes down to starting and looking for ways and new ways to invest for our children. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and introduce my guest, Miss Kennedy Reynolds. How you Hello. Doing, <laughs> hey, I'm so good. I'm better now. You're better I'm now? So happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So the first thing I want to get into, I want, you know, I know I kind of maybe, I know I didn't do your introduction any justice, but I want to ask people who, who is Kenny Reynolds oh my goodness we don't have that long I gotta I let's see well I thought your introduction was great it's so funny actually to hear anyone introduce me as any as a financial subject matter expert because I think and I hope that this resonates with people listening 10 15 years ago I would have laughed at that introduction because I really did not have a financial background I didn't I think you and I probably share that I didn't grow up, you know, talking about finance and really learning about money at home. I, I have a, I love my parents. I had a great upbringing, but that just wasn't really a priority. Um, so it's that part of the introduction is very interesting. I came into financial literacy and financial education, a, a total fish out of water. Um, and so I feel like I'm living proof that you can, you can learn from really from nothing. You can you know, get interested and start to learn and start to educate yourself. I know you've done a lot of that great work too. Um, and, and just, you know, believe in the process, believe that the more time you devote to it, the more you can, you can learn. But as far as acorns goes, I, I, I have a, um, a, a quick snapshot. I'm originally from North Carolina, lived all over um, and had the opportunity to travel to a bunch of great places, started my career uh, 50, 20 years ago and, um, advertising in San Francisco and moved around from there. Um, I got to Acorns because Noah Kerner, our CEO, and I had worked together previously, um, and I really admired him and uh, and was excited to to follow him to Acorns. Um, even though I said, okay, but I don't know that much about <laughs> about money, so it's going to be a little bit of an uphill uh, climb for me. Um, and and the company and Noah were willing to to give me that chance, and I'm so grateful. Awesome. That's that's great to hear. Uh, you know, seeing that you you know you had the Harvard background, the mother of three, investing, yes, you know, started investing with your children and things like that. Uh, when you look at the world of Acorn, you spoke about Acorn and the CEO uh, Noah bringing you along with him and yep. building out the brand. You know, everybody know Acorn has done a great job with branding, and uh, so kudos Thank to you. you on that. Thank you. you. Know, Thank you. Have so many great celebrity investors, and I mean. Everybody's seen every, everybody's kind of heard of Acorn. You know, it has a nice little buzz going on. So, but well, a lot of things that some people don't may not ask about, you know, they may un, they may not understand how does Acorn, the financial wellness system, how does that work? You know, because people always say, What well, you I've heard of it, it it kind of it takes my money like to keep my change and invest it. How does how does that work? How does that whole financial system work for people out there? Yeah, thank you for asking, because sometimes I skip over that part because it's kind of you know, I could, it's kind of how I live and breathe now. So it's easy to just assume that people know. So thank you for asking. Um, so you're right. Acorns kind of started as the spare change app. I think that that's how, that was our reputation for so long. You link your, you know, any cards uh, or accounts that you use to shop 
and you can automatically round up, we automatically round up your purchases to the next dollar and invest that spare change. Easy, automatic, you don't need, you know, our, one of our biggest messages internally and, and something that we always focus on is bringing the tools of wealth making to everyone. Everyone has spare change um, and why not help that grow for your future? So we started there, we added to that um, in recurring investments. So you can automatically set up easy recurring investments starting at $5 a day, a week, a month, and up from there um, and invest those into your portfolio. We offer five portfolios depending on yourself, your circumstances, your goals, um, and those are ETF portfolios. So you're getting a lot of diversity um, that helps you weather the crazy markets that we've had this year. And then after the, uh, the investment account, we added um, Acorns Later, which is our retirement account. So in under two minutes, you can just set up an easy IRA retirement account. Um, we help you pick the right plan. So even if you're like me, you come into it and don't exactly know which one you should pick, we're going to help you through that. Um, and then again, you can just make easy automatic recurring contributions and get those great tax advantages that IRA plans give you along the way. Um, and then we added our spend checking account. So spend is the only checking account with a debit card that invests for you and has no hidden fees and over 55,000 fee-free ATMs. But the real, you know, the real power of spend, I think, other than the fact that it looks really, it's this beautiful, heavy metal, incredible card. We wanted everybody to feel the power of kind of what the MX black card made, you know, a few people feel. We wanted everybody to feel that. So it's this really heavy, beautiful matte green card, um, but it invests your spare change in real time. We call that real time roundups. Um, so you're getting more time to benefit from compounding, a little more time in the market. And then we also just launched a feature called Smart Deposit. So when your paycheck comes into your spend account, we just automatically can allocate a portion of it to your invest and later account. So you kind of, you know, help your money grow as soon as you get it. Um, just really helping to kind of fulfill that that system that you mentioned earlier, that financial wellness system. And then rooted in all of this is education. I think you know that, you know, just as, as well or better than anybody, financial literacy and education is um, is at the root of, no pun intended, the root of, of you know, financial growth. So grow is, um, is our financial uh, property. We have an online ma money magazine and then all that great content that you can access on the go. And we create that in partnership with CNBC. So it's really relevant. We get some great experts um, to share their money tips. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really looking to, we've always wanted to build this financial wellness system. Um, and we're about to evolve our earn product as well, which helps you earn more money, really kind of standing out as the only financial wellness system that thinks about how to help you earn more because then you get to save and invest more as well. Oh, nice. That's a great system. I didn't know about the spin with the card where, you know, you have the debit card. It almost like keeps the change. And, you know, when I like today, you know, I'll probably go off and buy something. And if I buy something, my change kind of, you know, I think that'd be great. You know, that'd be great for children and teenagers, you know, right? Totally. Yes. Yeah. You're you. Good segue. We actually so Acorns Early is the is the product that you mentioned. Um mm -hmm in the setup and that is our, our new uh, investment account for children, uh, which we're so excited about. I think everybody at our, you know, we've got about 300 people at Acorns. I think every single person poured their heart and soul into this. Um, and we had, we had talked about early and the need, you know, for uh, until we launched Acorns early, you needed to be 18 to be an Acorns customer. Now you can begin at birth. So, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I know I've, um, read a little bit about your relationship with, you know, trying trying to get your son really involved in, in education and financial literacy as soon as possible. I mean, if you invest $5 a day in a child from the time they're born, considering about an 8% average annual return, they've got $75,000, $80,000 by the time they're 18 to 20, and then are a millionaire by the time they're, you know, before they're 50. And so the power of just making it easy and accessible for everyone from birth um, is really, really amazing. And to your point, we are exploring how do we bring that roundup feature, just the power of spare change to Acorns early. So hopefully that's uh, that's in the near future. Wow. You know, speaking of that, you kind of led into it, you know, Acorns early and how it works is that 
So nowadays, all children pretty much have debit cards. You know, when they get to a certain age, parents get a child a debit card, maybe right. an allowance, and you know, maybe it's fifty bucks or whatever the allowance could be. And essentially, with Acorn early, if my son went to school and brought up, I don't know, a soda for a dollar twenty-five cent, the other seventy-five cent will automatically go to an investment account for him. Am I understanding that correctly? So, so that's a good question or distinction. So you, if you bought him mm-hmm. um, a soda, then the 75 cents would get rounded up into your account and you could add that to his account really easily. Okay. We don't have, um, Roundups is not connected to the Acorns right. early account yet, but that's on the roadmap because I do think that's really important. And you're so right. Kids who are older are getting those debit cards, hopefully a spend debit card, and then they can kind of automatically round up that spare change and not even think about it. The way that early works is, so we have three subscription plans uh, at Acorns. We we got we did away with you know hidden fees and percentages on your money and you know trade fee all that stuff. It's just simple, straightforward subscription plans. For one dollar a month, you get um, Acorns Lite, which is the investment account, and that comes with Grow and Earn. For three dollars a month, you get Acorns Invest, Acorns Later, and Acorns Spend. That's the investment retirement and checking accounts. And then at $5 a month, you get Acorns Family, which includes everything. That's the whole financial wellness system, plus Acorns Early for your kids, multiple kids per family at no added cost. So the way that that works is you and soon others can contribute to that child's investment account or children's Mm. investments account. um, And then just together kind of watch those contributions grow. Okay. And it's always been my opinion that in order to change financial literacy, I believe you have to start with the children um, yeah. to change the future. You know, you change the children, you change the future. You know, some of us adults, I always ask myself the question, well, how did we get to this point? And maybe not even knowing this or whatnot. So that's why I always kind of like, hey, if we change the children. If we, I think it's, you know, going into America, knowing that every child will need to know how to invest. Every child will need to know about credit. They will need to know about insurance, real estate. These things that you will have to know. You know, I remember uh, when I joined the military at 18, they offered me a 401k. I didn't know what they were talking about. You know, they were like, we got a G fund, an A fund, CVD fund. I was like, what is is this? (laughs) Just letters and numbers. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what this means. This goes totally stocks. What are stocks? How do stocks work? And I thought at the age of 18, having a high school diploma, I should have had at least known that knowing that it doesn't matter if I become, if I play for the Denver Broncos or if I uh, was a school teacher, it doesn't matter what facet of life I go into, I would need to know this information. So it always kind of bothered me that, you know, why are we waiting until you're an adult? Then you have to do all this education. And and I looked at, I said, the financial industry is the only industry where you have to train somebody in order to sell a product. You know, that's a really good point. I've never thought about that. You know, that's actually a really good point. If you were a if you're a beautician, you don't have to worry about that. You know, person comes in, they know they're going to get their haircut. If I was a mechanic, a person knows they have to get their oil change. Right. right. Or every profession, you know, on, on, when you go to see a lawyer, everybody knows, hey, I need an attorney to do X, Y, Z. But it's only the financial industry where you have to push so much education because people don't know what you're talking about. They don't understand anything you're talking about. I said, well, how do we get to this point? We know that they will face this. So I, I always noticed, I said, only the financial industry where you have to educate before you can sell a product. Totally, totally. It's such a good point. And we, you know, I think one of the reasons that Acorns was founded and and the reason that our, our mission is to look after the financial best interests of the up and coming. And the reason that that's our mission is because of exactly what you're saying, right? There's kind of this, there's this brand around money that's like mm-hmm. only certain people know about it and only certain people can get it. And, mm-hmm. you know, there we have to rebrand that, you know, mm-hmm. we really have to, and we're really working hard um, in partnership with you and others that are out there trying to to bring financial education to people as early as possible, because you know in the research that we've done and the customers that that are kind enough and open enough to talk to us, it has nothing to do with interest or access. I'm sorry, interest or curiosity, or it has everything to do with access. Mm-hmm. So if we can make that access easier, if we can bring the tools of wealth making to everyone, 
um, then you, you're right. We have the opportunity to change the financial outlook for this generation and generations to come. And you think about, you start to think about how, like, how we think about wellness. You know, we, we culturally talk a lot about physical wellness and, you know, especially this year with, with COVID, we're, we're thinking more about holistic wellness and our, um, medical wellness and mental wellness has fortunately become, you know, more of a mainstream conversation. Financial wellness is lagging behind still. We're not, we're not teaching it enough in schools like you. I mean, I wrote my first check uh, and it bounced because I, I had no idea <laughs> what I was doing. Wow. So, um, so yeah, I'm with you. I mean, I think hopefully that hopefully we are, you know, working hard to, to bring that access and that education to people. And hopefully people feel like, you know what, this is cha- a spare change, you know, small steps at a time, these things add up and I can get in the game. And you're so right, Kenny, because my dad, my dad was a, uh, he was a military veteran, retired military and, on, and a uh, school teacher. Well, and thank you to him. Yes, he's 74 years old today. And uh, he told me I'm 35. And I asked my dad, I said, Dad, why you didn't uh, invest for me and my brothers? And he just said, he just blatantly told me, like, son, I, I didn't know you could do that. Exactly. And he said, I would have had to drive. We're from small town Georgia. And mm-hmm. he said, I would have had to drive two hours, three hours to Atlanta. I would have had to meet with some stockbroker. They don't want to sell right. money. I don't know what stocks are. I couldn't just pick up my phone and know what this is, know what that is. I didn't know you could do that. So that was kind of reserved for people who had the access and wealth and right. Who knew the right people that could say, "Hey, you can do this for your child." So he said, "I just really didn't know." But he totally. But now for his grandson, he's very interested in like, "Hey, I want to invest for him." I didn't know I could, you know, because we all knew what Apple was, we all knew what McDonald's was, we knew what Nike was, we knew all these companies, but we didn't know that we could be, you know, a part owner in that, you know. So just it's incredible. Didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, Mm -hmm. you know, I know he's certainly not alone. Thank you for your service and for his. Actually, the it, that you know the military makes up a uh, a mm-hmm. really big portion of our customer demographic, and so when we think about the up and coming, you know, other than children, who's more up and coming than these people who have served our country and come back and are looking for um, resources and ways to you know rebuild or evolve their lives now that they're back and you know, that's a big priority for us. And actually outside of this conversation, I would love to talk to you more about how we can potentially reach those, um, those populations. But yeah, I mean, I don't, your dad, me, I mean, the only reason that my kids will have, uh, will have financial education is fortunately my husband, um, my husband's dad is a small town banker uh, in Missouri. So he grew up with a really strong um, financial education and, you know, an appreciation and humility about money and, how it is involved in the rest of your life. And I now have, you know, learned um, and have those like, oh, why didn't I start earlier moments that I <laughs> want to protect my kids from? But I mean, you know, my parents are fantastic people and they they taught me a lot of really valuable lessons, but that just wasn't, I, I think similar to your dad. I don't think that they were thinking like, oh, we this is something that we really need to get into. Okay. Well, I like something that you're doing here. You are changing the way, you know, you're, you have your own initiative where you have a book. You became an author of yes. Grow Your Oaks. What yes. inspired Grow Your Oaks? And tell us, what does Grow Your Oaks mean? Oh, good question. So um, our kind of brand mantra at Acorns is from Acorns, Mighty Oaks Do Grow, right? That's our brand statement. We try to think about that in everything we do. We think about it. With our customers, we thought about it obviously with acorns early. You know, your your babies are these acorns, and you can help them grow um, into mighty oaks. So, so the inspiration for for grow your oak was really, um, of course, my children. I'm a mother of three, um, who are all under five years old. So it's madness around here most of the time. Um, and having those you know moments with them where I could start that conversation early, really kind of help them understand kind of cause and effect, right? Like he, this birthday present is because mommy and daddy work and, you know, this is what money means. So we're having those really basic conversations early, um, trying to help them think about their 
hopes and visions and the things that help you get there. Obviously not just money, but that's part of it. Um, and then Acorns Early, I mean, it was an inspiration for Grow Your Oak. We, we started thinking about this product a couple of years ago and really wanted to find the right time and the right way for it to fit into our financial wellness system as opposed to just trying to get it out the door. Um, and so as we thought about it, you know, we thought about how it wasn't only meant to be an investment account for kids, but it was meant to provide this space for conversation and connection around this topic um, for your family. And, you know, we all read books to our kids. What better way to help create and foster and nurture that space than to write a children's book that could kind of be a nudge uh, into that conversation. So that was really the inspiration. And then I had, you know, I, I the backstory, uh, if I can pull the curtain back a little bit, is that I am a terrible artist. So I had written the book out in a notebook and then I had um, printed kind of Google, like I, I printed some clip art and I pasted it with like my children's stick glue into this journal where I'd written the book. This is kind of my vision. I got on a plane before COVID, um, flew to New York and met with uh, Noah, our CEO, and said, I've got this idea. I think we should do this children's book. And here it is in this, you know, journal with clip art. And he loved it and was, you know, really supportive as he always has been about, you know, us doing creative, genuine things. Um, and then here we are, the book published. And I'm so excited and honored. I got to work with an incredible illustrator, fortunately. Uh, Adam Grayson, who is now actually a team member at Acorn. Um, so yeah, it's something that we're really proud of and proud to share with as many people as we can. Okay. Well, speaking of that, we have hey, here there it is. Grow your <laughs> oak. And what we're going to do, the first two people to in the comment box, um, when the first two people to comment live, Grow Your Oaks, you're going to get a free copy mail to you. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. So for Excellent. The first, the first two people to do that, you're going to get Grow Your Oak. So right here, uh, for the people, when you catch this live, uh, please type in Grow Your Oaks into the comment box, and you're going to get Grow, Grow Your Oaks sent to you by Miss Kenny Reynolds herself. Wonderful. Now, now, speaking of that, Kenny, I had a question for you. You yeah. have uh, you spoke about acorns early. Um, yeah. We know what, there are other things out there that people can do. We always hear people talk about, what about a college plan? What about... Sure. Uh, the, all, the other alternatives, you know, we always talk, get a college plan. Get a, That was the first thing I did. I got a 529 for my son. I said, oh, you know, I want to go to college one day, so I get a college plan, you know, not understanding. What's the difference between Acorn Early versus a 529 plan? Because you spoke about it earlier about if you save $5 per day, compounded at 8%, you know, you have 75000 by 18 and being a millionaire before 50. How does Acorn Early differ from other options that's out there? Yeah, good question. I think the the most important thing to remember is do do whatever you do as much as you can. These are not mutually exclusive. So you don't have to choose between a 529 and acorns early. Um, but that being said, I'll lay out a few of the differences and I hope it's helpful. Acorns early is a UTMA, UGMA account. The difference it basically differs where on uh, based on where you live, but UTMA is Uniform Transfer to Minors Act, um, and UGMA is Uniform Gift to Minors Act. The the main difference and the reason that we chose um, UTMA UGMA account is the flexibility that it provides. So you can use the funds in your Acorns Early account for anything that benefits the child. It can be education, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a computer. It could be um, a car. It could be, you know, if, if they decide not to go right to school um, or if that's not your plan, we wanted to provide as much flexibility as possible, knowing that, you know, there are families uh, with lots of different plans for their kids. And we didn't kind of want to pigeonhole you into one direction, although obviously we're we're big fans of education and you should do everything you can to um, to save for that as well. But this way, with a 529 with or I'm sorry, with Acorns Early. Um, you can, if you want to, if your child is a great pianist or an athlete um, or anything else, you can use the funds for some of those courses or lessons along the way. Um, so, so really for us, it was about providing our customers with as much flexibility as possible. Um, you do get tax benefits with a UTMA 
UGMA account, you're typically taxed um, at the rate of uh, the child, which is a typically lower tax rate than an adult. You can usually get up to about $1,000 in earnings that are tax free. Um, and then those earnings, I think at around $2,000 would be taxed at the adult's rate. Um, and if you're, you know, if you are, if you know that your child is going to go to, uh, to college or to a vocational school, um, and you know that you want to be investing towards that, a 529 plan will give you better tax advantages along the way than a UTMA or UGMA. Um, but if, if you want to do both, and if you want to be able to have some funds that can be used for other purposes, um, whether it's along the way or during that educational period, then we really wanted to provide that option for people. So those are the prime, those are the primary differences between the two. But again, we really recommend, you know, both are great options and you can do both at the same time. Okay. So one of the things you spoke about ACORN early versus the 529, I want to ask you, what is the future? What is the future you may have? What's yeah. the future for ACORNs early? You kind of touched on it a little earlier, but I want you to kind of, what's the future of ACORNs? Yeah, good question. So I think short-term future is we have some some features coming out in the next um, three, six, and nine months that we're really excited about, um, including, as I mentioned earlier, um, providing outside contributions. So, you know, before the holiday season, hopefully you'll be able to have your friends, family contribute to your children's account and to their future. Uh, I know personally showing up for parties or, or when we used to show up for parties before um, everything going on this year, you know, with bags of toys or getting them for my kids and you end up donating them within, you know, the inevitable period that the child gets tired of the toy. This really will provide people an opportunity to give a, a gift that can grow. So we're super excited about that. And just kind of creating this community around um, changing the financial future of the next generation. So we're really excited about that one. Um, and then we've got some other features uh, that I can't totally disclose right now that we're excited about coming up in the in the near future. I think one of our well, one of the things we're most excited about with early is expanding um, our education and expanding financial literacy in a way that really gets the entire family involved in in financial literacy. So we're working really hard on how we build out that program and have interactive content, um, have kind of milestones and goals that you can set along the way with your children. And maybe that relates to, you know, their chores or, um, so we're thinking a lot about that. We're talking to our customers a lot. We're getting a lot of really good feedback from them about what they would like as far as building out that, um, both kind of the goals and, and milestones piece of the, of the product, as well as financial literacy and education and doing everything we can to support those conversations. So that's, that's a big part of what we're, of what we're working on with early right now, but I welcome feedback. So please don't hesitate. If you've got ideas about mm -hmm. um, if you or any of your listeners have ideas about, you know, how we kind of really make this product robust as robust as possible for families. I'd love to hear it. Okay. So first I want to say, I want to thank you for coming on, you know, uh, having a thank great, you having a great episode and i also want to say thank you uh you know congratulations on publishing your book grow your oaks people thank out there you. make sure you go out there and uh, grab it i think it's very important that we start our children off as early as possible like you spoke about earlier you said hey we have to worry about issues as far as people saying um we have to worry about issues as far as what are we teaching our kids now we have to we have we have so many things coming home that kids are reading in books, but these are things that's going to prepare them for the future to change the future. That's right. So that's right. I definitely want to say thank you on that. And for people out there, uh, is there anything you want to leave out there to the audience and the people that would uh, listen and watch this? I would just say I, I you know, believe in yourself. Um, we Acorns believes in you. We are so excited to be supportive and a part of your financial wellness journey. I'm so honored to have been invited here to talk about it. And um, But I think creating a vision for yourself and believing that you can take that first step if you haven't yet or take the next one is so important. Um, so stay uplifted. And, and if there's anything more that we can do to help, please don't hesitate to reach out acorns.com or acorns in your app store to save and invest in the background of life. All right. 
Ms. Kenny Reynolds, we want to thank you for coming on. Thank you for the uh, great episode. And um, thank you so much for having me. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to the next video podcast, cartoon, or whatever else crazy you see me do around the globe. Peace, be safe. I'm out. And thank you.